Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to today's video. If you watched the last video on the, the live bidding, you will see that we won ourselves a 2006 Mini Cooper S Checkmate Edition. The car is just outside, it's just been dropped off. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna get stuck straight in. We're gonna go and have a look at the car, have a good walk around the car, see what needs doing to it, um, see what condition it's in and so on. Now I am a little bit skeptical about this car because it is on 140,000 miles, so. I don't really know what to expect. I have covered all areas in regards to buying this car. Uh, worst case scenario, if it is uh, a bit of a donkey, then I will probably break the car for parts uh, and try and make profit that way. But we won't get ahead of ourselves. We'll go and have a look and then we'll take it from there. So without further ado, let's go and see it. Again, if any of you guys are familiar with buying a car from auction, you will see that you get this massive zip tie with all the keys that come with the car. Here it is, the 2006 Mini Cooper S Checkmate Edition. You can see there. So for starters, we would need to replace that sticker there that's seen better days, and I would probably replace this one here as well. Um, just for it peeling off the top there. If I want to sell this car, I want to get it in as good a condition as I possibly can. Um, now what I didn't notice in the pictures, what I've noticed today is there is a crack on the windscreen. So again, you don't see these sort of things from the pictures when you're bidding online. Um, so that is a risk you take. If we look here, we did see that in the pictures, um, it's got a scuff there. So that we'll need, we'll need to see into. Um, look at the wheels I think these are what are they they're 17 inch um, alloys what's the tires like tires pretty good on that one doesn't look in too bad of condition um, come back here first thing we notice is the mini badge is missing off of that so we would need to get a new one of them again that tires all good now if we just check the brakes you see it there Looks to have a good bit of meat on there. If we just check these ones in here. I don't know if you can see that. Again, they look to be okay. What we will do is we'll get it up in the air, um, take the wheels off just to see if, uh, with it being high mileage, just to see if the, all the springs are okay and the ball joints and uh, track rod ends, etc., all, all in good condition. Other than that, the front end looks to be fairly straight, just needs a good clean, a bonnet, when it looks to be, again, in okay condition. Now, with it being the Checkmate Edition, it comes with these Xenon headlights, so that's a nice little touch there. Now, again, doesn't look to be in too bad a condition, that wheel. Tyres seem to be all good there as well. Oh, brakes. Pads, got enough meat on them. Again here, look, that, that would need changing as well. It's just peeling off there. And again, same as the other side. The sticker's just peeling off there, so we would need uh, to replace that. The door, the door looks to be all straight. That angle here, all nice and straight down there. No visible marks. Come back to this wall here. Tires, yep, so all the tires are good on this car. Um, and all the brakes seem to be good, so that's a big tick off the list. If you notice here, if you look at this rear spoiler, I think that only comes on the Checkmate Edition. Uh, someone correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I think that's a, a standard that comes with these Checkmate cars. Now if we come around to the back, this is where the damage is. 
So you can see here, it's taken a whack on that boot lid there. You can see on the bumper. Now the bumper itself is straight. It doesn't appear to be any visible damage apart from the scuffs that are on there. Now I think possibly they may polish out. I'm not 100% sure, but worst case, the bumper would need respraying. Um, obviously the, the, the worst of the damage is actually, like I said, on this boot lid. See, it's been uh, crumpled in there. Um, it's not, well, it, I don't know if that can be repaired. I'll look into that um, and we'll see what we can come up with there. I'll look in the back here. Tiny little boot. Now, I don't know whether that's, but it got shunted up the back. Yeah. does boot shots okay so that is a that's a good thing um, it's always a good thing like I was saying we've got Mini Cooper done 140,000 miles the worst of the damage is like I just showed you is on the rear boot lid um, other than that it's only sort of you know little bits sort of here and there now, I haven't actually heard the car run yet so um, <laughs> I suppose that's the next thing to do is to start it up and see what happens. It comes with two keys and a, a plastic mock up key there. And then we'll just have a quick look inside. As you can see there. Um, seats. A little bit of wear as to be expected on that side there, but it doesn't appear to be any rips. They just, they just need a good clean. See, there's a nice, nice little stain there. <laughs> um, it's come with all, all sorts of paperwork. Now, that's a service booklet there. It's always key to check. It's been looked after. Coolant brake fluid. Now, here we go. Thirty thousand, forty-seven thousand, sixty-six thousand. 86,000, 111,000, 138,000. So it has got service history with it, so it's always a always a good sign. Now, I don't think that comes with the car, so we'll get rid of that. Now we'll pop the bonnet. Before we start it, we'll have a look underneath. Right. I'll open this up. Bear with me. Is there a catch? There we go. Right. Here we are. Let's check that. Blimey, that's on tight. It's got a little bit in it. it needs to be clean. It's got coolant in it. Yeah, if you look on, so that that marries up with the service history at 138,000, which is which is good. Now, any visible leaks we're looking for here? All along the front there. Not that I can see, but I won't really see properly until I get underneath it. So far, so good. Right, let's give it a start. See what happens. Right. On the button. Now, what I have noticed, uh, there seems to be a quite a bit big blow on the exhaust. Yeah, we need to we need to get it up in the air. Um, see where that blow is coming from. So the exhaust is blowing. Uh, it's got Harman Kardon speakers in it. 
Um, pretty surprised to be honest with you. Um, at the time, I didn't notice the damage on there. Obviously, I noticed the damage on the bumper. So, you know, like I said, when you're buying from auction, these are the things that you, you take a risk on. So, not the end of the world. Um, look at that mileage. Yeah, you can see there, 140,000. Right, let's have a look where this is closed from the front. And there as well, coming from there. Right, whole new centre section. Right, guys. So I've just given it a, a quick clean. It's actually come out really well. Now, overall, I mean, the paintwork is in, in good condition. This car has been very well looked after. As you can see from the service history. It's uh, it's been stamped up until I think the last when was the last service about 138,000. So just to summarise, really, we need the new exhaust system. We need the new decals on on both wings. We need to source a new boot lid, preferably one in the same colour. But I think that'll be difficult to to come by because of the you've got the silver on the top of it. Well, obviously with the spoiler as well, the spoiler will have to come off of this one uh, to fit onto the new one, which isn't uh, too much of a problem. Um, and we need to see to that rear bumper. But that's all for today, guys. I um, hope you enjoyed the walk around video on the Mini Cooper. Don't forget, if you liked the video, don't forget to leave the, the thumbs up. And if you're new, do consider to subscribe to the channel. There's plenty more content uh, coming your way. Um, so, like I said, I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, until next time, guys, take it easy. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.